తిరిగి Hey what's going on guys my name is Dallas aka Infernus and welcome back to another dreaded MC edit tutorial and um yeah so uh if you if you're watching this video then it probably means that uh I got ranked high in the search and that's a pretty good thing uh thank you so much for watching but um I kind of want to make this video to I don't know uh, uh like kind of make my reputation in MC edit a little bit better because a lot of people um see my MC edit videos and uh I'm just not really that good at explaining it that much so I'm going to get better at explaining it. Today I'm going to be explaining you to you how you can make um custom worlds and maps with MC edit without the use of like world brush and everything because world brush is probably more complicated than MC edit. So yeah, this is going to be a world I'm uh I am uh, going to be using for this. So to start out first obviously just press edit. Now for this tutorial I'm going to be using MC edits version 2.0. Now tons of people just hate that version like it's just I don't know it's it's a lot more confusing and it's, it's not really as good a setup as the older version of MC edit. But the reason I'm using it is because you know the old version of MC edit is just like so outdated and so old like it's it's so dang hard to like find you know Minecraft versions that are actually compatible for it so um, I'm gonna be using this one I'm gonna be teaching you how to do this uh, make custom worlds uh, by the way uh, this is a custom map that is in the making that uh, I'm actually currently producing um, and if you guys have heard of the world called oh, or the uh, map called Greenfield on planet Minecraft uh, I have a feeling you have but if you haven't go check it out it's gonna be part of that so uh, anyways uh, what I'm gonna be first starting to tell you is obviously in order to uh, build anything in MC edit you need to know the basic control so obviously you're gonna have to use WASD to uh, move around and whatnot uh, I think I just didn't do that good of a job explaining it last time because I got a lot of comments on my older videos on MC edit how do you move um, <laughs> so I'm sorry I thought it was a little bit too obvious but apparently not so that's how you move around um, now the basic tool in MC edit as you guys know is a select tool and now that's the first thing you're gonna see on the left side of the screen right there and what the select tool does is it obviously selects things. So you just uh, left click and you it will automatically select anything that you are hovering over. And it automatically turns 3D if you're hovering over something that uh, has 3D dimensions. Or if you're just like over this uh, flat area right here, then it will um, just not go 3D. And it'll just cover this flat area. And uh, obviously, you, uh, you let go by just like letting go of the left button. And then you have your thing selected. Now, uh, that's uh, that's very interesting. Uh, that's the uh, select tool, obviously. You're going to need that basically to do everything in MC Edit. Now, the move icon basically moves anything that you have selected into a different area of the world. Now, obviously, I don't want to do that for this world because it's going to mess it up. But what you would do is you would select the area of land that you would like to remove. And then you would grab it with the move icon. And then you would move it to, say, over there. So it's kind of like a makeshift nudge tool. Um, and then the fill tool, obviously the fill um, will fill any area of land with a certain, with your select tool with a certain sort of material. As you can see, you get all the lists of the materials. And if something has a orange, or did I just say orange? Wow, I am messed up. Okay, if something has the purple um, question mark on it, then that means that it's not registered in Minecraft. Um, so don't use it like my, like don't fill it with fire it's not gonna work um and you probably shouldn't fill it with uh with dispensers <laughs> or leaves i don't know why but everything else you see here is perfectly fine to fill it with after that you just press fill press okay and you press fill and then everything is covered in stone now um or you and then if you don't want that to happen just press Control plus z um oh yeah there we go there we go uh or you can just go into the menu right here and then the basic stuff, just undo, 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 right at the top right there. Okay, so, now here's the problem. Here's the problem here. Uh, the, the thing that's completely different with the, uh, the newer MC Edit is that the entire layout on how to export and import things into the actual thing is completely different than it is last time. Um, so first of all, in order to do that, you have to go up here instead of the little bottom area right here of which it would be last time. Go to import slash export. It's in the same thing. In, um, and then you would choose whether you want to export a, a schematic or import a schematic. If you press import, then it's going to come up with the schematics folder. Now, I don't have any schematics. 
Um, but what you would do is it would be a schematic file. So let's go ahead and uh, actually find a schematic file. Let me see. Hold on. Where can we find one of those? I have a schematic file somewhere up in here. Uh, downloads. MC edit. Uh, let's see. MC edit. Does this work? Uh, I'm trying to find my schematics here. Um, there we go. So, oh, that's nope. Let me see this one. Schematics. Oh, we have something here. <laughs> Why is this called dildo? All right, let's just. What is this? Oh, frick. All right. Well, I don't know why that's called dildo, but um, this is an example of what a schematic would be. So this is a very small schematic, but um, uh, you would basically spawn this in right here first, and then if you want to rotate it, you would rotate it this way. Um, and now I don't know why you would do that. You can't actually spawn it like that. Just in case you're wondering, uh, no, you can't. You can't spawn it uh, like this. That would obviously break the Minecraft universe forever. Um, you could rotate it this way, like, alright, so now it's facing this way. Oh my god, you could actually, uh, change the orientation of the whole thing, that's pretty neat. Um, or you could, uh, do it over here, like that, you get, you get the point, or you could just go straight, like this, and that's perfectly fine as well. Or rotate X, which makes it go up, um, there we go. So this is good for, like, terraforming, if you don't know how to do it yourself, MC Edit will do it for you. Um, here you go. Yeah, so, I mean, it works pretty fine. Uh, or you could just have a normal, because... Oh, that's weird. Like, what kind of crap is this? Here, normal. It's kind of hard to get it there. That's the problem. Uh, frick. There, that's good. Yes. Perfect. Um, and then once you want... Once you, uh, once you're done with that, you just press confirm. And then, boom, it spawns it in. But just kidding, I don't want it there, so psych. Now, another big thing that people like to use MC Edit for is, uh, the brush tool. Now, obviously, the reason why people like to use brush tool is kind of like a mini world brush. And, uh, holy frick, look at this crap. What is this? Um, obviously, in MC Edit, the brush tool is a little bit, uh, different. It's a little bit less complex than the actual, uh, Minecraft World Brush, uh, pro program that you can get. Let me see, you could, uh, do different shapes. Like, right here, we have a giant, uh, Ender Dragon Egg kind of shape. We could do a giant Egyptian Pyramid, uh, in the middle of the city. We could do a, uh, giant Death Star. We could do, uh, a giant, like, freaking, I don't even know what the frick that is. Um, or you could actually change it yourself to whatever you want, uh, like this. You could change the width or the height, uh, but the maximum you could do is like a hundred. So that's, I mean, you, you really don't need it more than a hundred because a hundred's like the absolute, like, why would you need it more than that? Um, and you could hover it. This is how you move it upwards or downwards. Uh, so if we move it up like a hundred, then it's obviously going to be like completely fricked up because you can't even see it anymore. Oh my God. And don't crash. Did it crash? It crashed. Oh, God. Whoa, Jesus. Something bad just happened. Yeah, um, this was very bad. This was a bad decision. Um, I think I messed something up here. Oh, there we go. Well, that wasn't weird. Um, <laughs> all right, so that's that. Uh, you get the point. Just don't go crazy or, or it's probably just going to crash and you're going to lose all your progress. Inspect Entity is a tool that you can use to actually go to any animal or mob and you could actually like change different properties about them. So let's see if I could try to find like a freaking cow or something. Whoa. Did not even see that right there. Uh, whoa. Whoa. Calm down. Okay. Let's see if we could find like a uh, freaking, I don't even know. Like, let's see. Doesn't seem to be any like living things around here. Uh, trying to find, like, a freaking mob somewhere. There's no mobs. There's nothing. Seriously? Come on, this is so inconvenient. And then the final tool is called Inspect Block, and basically what Inspect Block does is, uh, you click it, and then you select a block that you want to, uh, get details on, and then you would, uh, get this little thing right here, and it's gonna be kind of, like, transparent for some reason. It's gonna tell you the coordinates, uh, the type of block it is, and then, um, what state it's in as well. Uh, so let's go and select uh, this block right here. So this is leaves. We got wool. Color equals white. Block ID 35. Block light 0. Skylight 0. And then uh, you can actually edit it too if you want. Um, and it works for literally any block. And um, that's basically all the tools in MC Edit. Now there are a lot of other advanced things like plugins that you can get. Um, but for the most part, that is everything you would need to know. Um, you could adjust the actual thing, like the, uh, display of MC Edit, like the brightness. Um, you could set it so it looks dark. 
which is just fantastic. Or it's it's nice and bright and cheerful. Um, uh, that's like actually just the... Oh no, sorry. This was the time of day and this is the brightness. Alright, my bad. Uh, so now it's it's extra sunny. It's super sunny time. Uh, this is kind of just like uh, medium sunny. Uh, that's like super sunny. You're going to get like your ass sunburned the hell out of. Um, and that's just like, yeah, that's that. Um, over here we have work plane. Now this is going to basically, can we, can we get, can we get a thing over here? Hello? Work. Hello? Why isn't it working? Freaking, oh, there we go, press, duh. Okay, um, basically what this does is it tells you, um, what level that you're working on. So if we have it on level six, that's actually around the level that we're at right now. It just gives us a sense of perspective. Put it at level four, that's the apps, that's actually the ground level, level four, I think. But it's, it's kind of hard to adjust, so just keep that in mind. Um, or you could just keep that at like level 30 or 40. Just like maybe if you're building something, you don't want it to make it go over a certain height. There you go. That's how you do it. That's how you figure it out. Um, and that's basically everything you need to know about MC Edit and how you can make custom maps. Um, and then once you're done with any map, obviously, you're going to go ahead and press export a schematic. Or schematic. Sorry, I keep saying schematic. Um, what you do to uh, actually have a schematic ready is you just highlight it using the select tool and uh, select tool should automatically uh, do it but in case you don't know how to make it do that you could just right click along with left clicking and then drag it to the place where you want it to go and uh, that would be like right there um, and then as you can see we have everything we need selected and then what we would do is we would go over here to export schematic and then we would uh, export it to any file that we want and it would make a schematic file for us and that is how we um, also manipulate uh, the freaking world around us so we can whoa jesus stop getting possessed whoa 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 okay calm down stop getting possessed get yourself together all right um <laughs> so that, yeah that's that once you're done obviously freaking hell why does it keep doing that uh go to empty edit press save right here um save world or just press control s now i don't want to screw myself over so i'm not going to do that but that that's how you save it um and that is empty edit for you guys Thank you guys so much for watching, and if this did help you, then uh, make sure you just go ahead and uh, chainsaw that like button down below. Um, and I will see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.